Shame. And finally, from images that seem scarcely believable to a sight that must be seen to be believed, those blessed with clear skies tonight stand a decent chance of catching the northern lights. And not just in the most northern reaches of the country, but right across the UK. The beauty of the northern lights is unrivalled. From Aberdeenshire to Grassholm in Northumberland and remarkably as far south as Cornwall, this spectacle lit up skies across the British Isles. It's just one of those things that most people have on their bucket list, so you can't just look at it for two seconds and look away. Tonight I'll be sat at the window waiting to see if it comes back again. Spent a fortune going to Iceland, spent a couple of hours out in the wilderness just trying to find them driving around and then we could just see them from the back garden for free in my jammies. The Northern Lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, happens when electrically charged particles leave the sun and interact with the Earth's atmosphere. The result is a swirling river of colour above us. The clarity of last night's spectacle caught many by surprise. This evening, astronomers are preparing themselves once again. The aurora is actually predicted to be more active tonight. Um, so even if it's cloudy where you are, it's always, it's always, there's always a chance that you can catch it uh, if you look out your window. Um, and it's amazing to see them as far south as, as they are because normally people travel to places like Iceland and Sweden and Norway to, just to see them. Ireland too experienced the magic. Sligo in the west awash with colour. And rarely will Stonehenge ever look so dramatic. Perfect conditions permitted this rare spectacle. And if you are blessed with clear skies overnight, then you may catch sight of something incredibly special. Rachel Townsend, News at 10. And as we have been telling you, some of you might have been lucky enough to catch a glimpse of the northern lights last night, although cloudy skies might have dampened the view for some people. But we had that really amazing display, didn't we, uh, on Sunday night. We brought you some pictures yesterday as far south as Cornwall uh, they were being seen. And Alison Freeman has been pulling together some of the stunning images we've seen so far. It was one of the best displays seen in recent times, especially across the north of the UK. The greens and more unusual deep reds of the northern lights captured by photographers on Sunday and into the early hours of Monday. From the Shetland Islands to County Armagh, the Brecon Beacons and even as far south as Kent and Cornwall. Colours are created when a solar flare erupts on the sun, sending charged particles towards Earth which then interact with our atmosphere. The sun is at its most active since 2014 and is expected to peak in 2025, meaning more aurora displays are expected not only in the coming days, but also the coming years. So, experts say, cloud permitting, people will have more chances to catch a glimpse of this natural phenomenon. It's between this rich harmony between magnetism and particle physics. Our sun is getting way more active now. And when it gets active like this, it's producing some intense magnetic fields. And it's these magnetic fields that harness so much energy, these positively charged particles that the sun from time to time can hurtle our way. And that's sort of what happened the other night. And as these particles travel through space, they interact with our magnetic field and produce that amazing display that we saw. Now, greens we associate with northern lights, but a lot yeah. of deep reds this time. That's pretty unusual, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, I mean, seeing the northern lights is tricky anywhere you go, as I'm sure people will testify. And it all depends on the weather, of course. We need to have really clear skies and, you know, cloud-free skies and starry skies. But red light under dark conditions is very difficult for our eyes to, to resolve. And this is down to the biology of our eyes, of course, because red light has the longest wavelength of all that our eyes can resolve. So seeing that anyway is tricky under dark conditions, but we...